In this environment, what do we do with a company that's basically the ultimate discretionary spending play? Although, of course, I don't think so, because I love mine. I'm talking about Brunswick Corporation, BC, the world's top maker of recreational boats, including my own beloved 17-foot Boston Whaler, as well as boat engines, nice sideline and billiards tables, fitness machines. We've got to talk more about that. None of these are what you call necessarily small-ticket items. Now, despite its fantastic brands, Brunswick had a pretty muted performance so far this year as a stock, up just uh, over 2%. Perhaps more perplexing, though, is the fact that Brunswick delivered a strong quarter last Thursday. Yet the stock got slammed that day, down 2% in the wake of news, and it's still trading below where it was when it reported. Could this be a terrific bargain, given the last quarter was truly an excellent one? Consider that Brunswick earned a buck oh five a share, and that beat Wall Street's estimates by three cents. Revenues came in higher than expected, up 6.4 percent year over year. And despite the currency headwinds created by the strong dollar, the company maintained its full year guidance. Pretty impressive. Not many did that. But don't just take it from me. Let's dig deeper with Dusty McCoy, the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation. Hear more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. McCoy, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Have a seat. I appreciate it very you know, much. I, I'm thinking the conundrum is the stock's big, still big, a, a big year over year. Yes, 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 and, then I, and I think that what I think happened is, is that people said, well, it's doing really well. And, but, you know, and that's, they kind of left it at that because, to me, this was a truly strong quarter for many different divisions. Listen, we're, we're tickled to death with the quarter. We were up 11% on a constant currency basis. Right. But, you know, Jim, as you look at our stock performance year after year, Every year when we report second quarter earnings, we go down a little. We report third quarter earnings, we start coming back. Really, that's been the pattern. Okay, it's, it's good the pattern. And, and, and the reason I, I think it is is people look at us as primarily a marine company, right. and we're finishing the marine season. Right. And then they begin to worry about what's going to happen next year. Now, I did want to talk about there's some styles that came up. For instance, I didn't know this. Outboard power continues to be even more important in the marine market. Why is people like outboard more? Uh, a couple of reasons. Okay. Uh, there's been more technology change in outboard engines in the past decade than any other type engine. So they're getting smaller, more horsepower for displacement, quieter, slimmer, lighter, everything you want in an engine we're doing in the outboard business right now. All right, now another th uh, metric that I thought was important is, is that apparently you're levered in terms of the overall number, and we're still way below where we were before the Great Recession, to use boats, which I am told from my sources are drying up. The used boat market, which was a great and bountiful market, yes, is. is really come under a lot of pressure for, for supply. Uh, it, it certainly is, and that's why we're comfortable that the new boat market will come back. When we went through the recession, there were a ton of used boats on the market. Right. People needed to get rid of them for any number of reasons, and they were all generally personal. That market will begin to dry up, and the new boat market will come back, and we're relaxed and comfortable about that. I think you're right. Now, I want to talk about a division we don't talk about enough, because you have an initiative today that I thought was really, really interesting. You launched a thing called In Movement Corporate Wellness. I mean, you've already got the top fitness machine company. Yes, so did. integrate this with uh, – tell me how that's going to work with your fitness uh, division. We don't think of it as particularly being with our fitness uh, okay. business. That's where we put it right now from a reporting purpose. Okay. Here. What we're after is the 75% of people who either don't exercise regularly or are not chronically ill, but who want to be well and healthy until the day they die. How many don't? 75%. About 11% of the people exercise regularly in, okay. in, in the civilized world. And about 12 or 13% uh, of the people have two or more chronic illnesses. And they're working not to, to be fit, but just to stay alive and well. So we have 75% of the people who sit every day, okay. hour after hour. And there's more and more evidence coming to, to light that says sitting is as bad as smoking. So we're launching a new business to get people up standing, working, moving in the office workplace. Now, is it like the standing desk that I have at, at It'll be shop? a standing desk. It'll be walking treadmills. But we're coming out with some really neat stuff that I can't quite get to. Oh, right, darn. Right now. Uh, so, Mark so, Benioff from Salesforce has <laughs> the walking treadmill. And, and it's just a great idea. They're, they're great. Well, and, and standing desks are wildly right. popular. And I know. I, I like mine. Now, SciFit, where does that fit into this pastiche? Well, as you well noted, and I appreciate you saying this, we're the big boy in the commercial fitness arena. But as we're looking at demographic trends, people are getting older, moving into more assisted living and eventually nursing homes. Right. And the folks who run those sorts of, of operations need people to be ambulatory as long as they can have them be ambulatory. So we think there's a growing demographic there, and SciFit has a great product lineup that helps people who need to be in rehabilitation, 
who are a little older, not as strong, don't move as well, and can't use the, the classic commercial equipment. See, that makes so much sense because I, I see the treadmills for people who are in, set, in their 70s, 80s, 90s. It's ineffective. It's too dangerous. It is. It is. So you've got other equipment coming along. We've we got lots of other equipment, and SciFit was the perfect fit in our company. A, a nice little ring, SciFit. Perfect fit. I didn't mean that. <laughs> but it, it, it's going to be a great piece of our growth business as we look at our fitness business going forward. Well, it's a great portfolio that you have, sir, and it's really had well, a terrific quarter. Much. That's done. Dustin McCoy, Chairman, CEO of Brunswick Corporation. Look, I have to tell you, I think the best takeaway was down in second quarter, comes back up right after that. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.